get you set up with Nomi then. So with this setup guide, I'm going to show you how to get Nomi 1 and 2 up and running with Retrobat. So first things first, what I always recommend you do is go to BatGUI to see what file extensions it is that Retrobat takes. So if you don't have BatGUI on your desktop like I do, which I recommend you doing, if you just go to your Retrobat shortcut, right click on it and go to Open File Location, under here, you'll find Bat GUI. And this is one of the most useful tools RetroBat has to offer. If you go under System List and System at the top here, if we just scroll down until we find Naomi, it will tell us under Extensions which file extension types Naomi 1 takes for RetroBat. So as we can see, we got .bin, .dat, .zip, etc. And then we can scroll down to Naomi 2. And for Naomi 2, it's going to take .zip and .7zip, which is 7z or z. So let's close this down and let's get straight into this. So before I actually start with this up, guy, can I just ask you hit notifications and also, of course, subscribe if you like this video. And also be sure to check out my other retro batch tutorials. I got many at this point. So let's actually take a look at the BIOS files you're going to need. So this is, of course, BIOS files you need for both systems as Sega Nomi 1 and Sega Nomi 2. So we got a Nomi.zip, Nomi underscore boot dot bin, and a Nomi 2 dot zip. So what I'm going to do is go into my Retrobat directory. Again, right click on the shortcut, open file location. And if I go to the BIOS folder, I'm going to just drag and drop these three BIOS files inside of my BIOS folder for Retrobat. So those are now in place. Now, if I come back out of here and just go down to ROMs, under ROMs, I'm going to find two folders. One named Naomi and the other one's named Naomi 2. So under Naomi... I've got a Naomi 1 game just here. Now, just bear in mind, if you can get some of your games working, then some of these Naomi games are going to require a CHD, that's a .chd file extension, and it's accompanying .zip file. So just be sure that some games are going to require two files for a game to run. So for this game, this is 18 Wheeler, I'm going to just drag this .zip into my Naomi folder. And let's get this up and running first. So if I just close out of here and head into Retrobat. And of course, I got my PlayStation 3 controller. And so there we go. So we got Naomi now appears, Games 1. If I just enter into this, and first thing I'm going to do is just make this look a bit more fancy. So if I go into Main Menu, Scraper, and of course, Scraper settings to however you prefer them to be. Just going to download a bezel actually whilst we're there. Back and scrape now. Hopefully this is going to get us some cover art. So let's just restart this. Update game lists. And there we go. Okay, so now we got our artwork. I'm going to just go into view options. I'm pressing select on my controller to do this. And then advanced system options. If I go to the bottom under emulation, the two options you need to change for this to get you a really smooth experience for playing Nomi on Nomi 1, that is. If you go to service mode, press yes. And under free play, also press yes. Let's just go into this game and press yes. And there we go. We now have our game up and running. Now, of course, I got the bezel attached for this, but we can also disable it if that's what you prefer. Please select the truck. Bolt Cowboy. Okay, so let's exit out of that and I'm going to show you some more options. If we go back to view options, advanced system options, under here, first of all, to get rid of that bezel we've got where you see the Naomi arcade cabinet, if we just go to de decorations and I'm going to go to none, shader set, I'm going to just take this down to enhance 
And game aspect ratio, I'm going to stretch this one to 16 by 9. Integer scaling, I'm going to put this to on to give it more of a blur effect rather than have the pixelation as we just seen. Vertical sync, yes, to reduce some screen tear that we could see in some of these 3D games. Now, if you find your controller is a little bit sporadic and it don't seem to make sense what you're pressing corresponding with the game, just go down to controls, player one control type, and from here, you've got a selection of different control types. So if you're playing a light gun game, then obviously go down to light gun. I'm going to just go to Dreamcast controller. Of course, Naomi is pretty much the arcade equivalent to the Sega Dreamcast home console. So let's boot up this game again. And if you should see missing BIOS files, as you can see, this runs fine for me. And there we go, we got Naomi in 16 by 9 Integer scaling is on, so it's not quite exactly full screen because it's condensed it and it's made the image a lot better for you. Please select. And there you go, as you can see, not so much pixelation, it's more smooth, and that's down to the Integer scaling that I've enabled. Asphalt Cowboy! And there you go. So we got Sega Nomi 1 up and running. So if we quit out of this, and next thing I'm going to do is show you how to get Sega Nomi 2 up and running. Okay, so that's Sega Nomi 1 dealt with. So let's move on to Sega Nomi 2. So for this, I've got a game in my folder to test this. And what I was saying a minute ago about some games only requiring a .zip, this particular game is also going to be requiring a .chd, as we can see. So let me show you how to get this up and running. So what we're going to do is once again head into the Retrobat directory. So right click on your shortcut, open file location. This time go to ROMs and we're going to go to Naomi 2 this time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just drag my two files. So we got the zip and the .chd, which is in a folder. I'm going to just drag these into my Retrobat Naomi 2 ROMs folder. So once that's done, just head back out and go into the BIOS. Now, this time around, what we're going to do under the BIOS folder is go to the DC, that's Dreamcast folder, and your Naomi 2 BIOS file, you're going to need to drag into this folder just here. So once you've done that, let's just open up Retrobat again. Okay, so we can now see Naomi 2 appear, and I've got my game inside. So let's just head over to Advanced System Options. And for this particular game, it's going to require the second option, which is Demuel Naomi to run this game. If I run it through Libretro Flycast, it won't load. So just be sure that if a game bounces you back or it says an emulator crashed or whatever, just make sure to set it over to the other emulator. So let's open up this Beach Spikers game. And there we go, we now have Naomi 2 up and running. Awesome. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Your so let's just exit out of here. And of course, just grab this some um, artwork. So to do this, main menu, scraper, and just scrape now. And that's gonna grab us Beach Spikers artwork, hopefully. So Main menu, game settings, update game lists, and there we have it. Now, if we go back to view options, advanced system options, underneath Demu Naomi, we got the same options as on Naomi 1, which I did just a minute ago. So decorations, it's going to give you some bezels. Shader set, it's going to give you some further enhancements, including scan lines. 
internal resolution, you're going to be able to make your games look much sharper, much cleaner, a bit more modern. And vertical sync is obviously there to eliminate screen tear on 3D games and game aspect ratio. So that's it for my Naomi 1 and 2 Retro Bat setup tutorial. Just be sure to follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Also remember to hit notification. It always helps my channel greatly. But until next time, stay retro.